If you really want to feel good about yourself, volunteer. We're here at the Heritage Square Museum doing exactly that. And by the way, they can use your help too by pruning and cleaning and doing all kinds of fun stuff. Here we have a tree that we're getting some really awesome branches off of and I'm gonna preserve my memories here by taking these branches and doing something very special with them. So let's gather them up and see what we're gonna do. All right, young saplings, are you ready to do it? We're gonna be branching art, creating art from these branches that we just pruned off of that tree. What we'll be doing here is taking some frames that will be repurposed and creating this masterpiece that you can take and hang up in a patio, maybe in a garage, or it'll be worthy of putting up in your own house. Now to get this whole thing started, you're going to need very few things, which is really fortunate, and it's gonna be really inexpensive to put it all together. The first thing that we did is we went down to a thrift store and we picked up some frames. And these particular frames happen to match each other except for in the color, which is all right, because we're gonna paint them later on. And that's where our paint comes from. Go down and get whatever flavor that you want. If it's a light colored wall you're gonna be putting these on, you're gonna want a dark color and vice versa. Uh, you'll probably need a pair of pliers. Not a bad idea to have yourself some clamps because we may end up needing to clamp the branches onto the frames temporarily. Gotta have a hot glue gun, really important. Don't forget to get the spares either because you may burn through this stuff really quickly. Of course, a pair of secatures is not a bad idea to have on hand. You're gonna have to cut these branches. And of course, you need the star of the show, our branches. Now it's time to get this thing put together. First thing we're gonna do is clear off some of our tools so that they're not in the way. Hate to have a dirty work area, that's for sure. Now, we have to pick up our frames. Now, we're, you know, this particular picture right here, a nice one, Yosemite, by the way, uh, but we don't need it. So what we're gonna do is flip it over, and if you look really closely over here, we've got these uh, little markers, if you may. They're kind of like staples that are in the way. We gotta get rid of every single one of them, and they'll usually come out pretty simply here. The reason why we get them out is because they're just gonna be kind of in, in our way. Now what we do is just push it out. Look, it's just that simple. So here we have it. We've got ourselves a wonderful frame. In fact, hey, who framed me? So we have the frame. Let's get the other ones done as well, and then we'll be off to getting these things painted. We have all three frames ready to go. Get the frames together. Got a tarp, got the paint. Now it's time to get some color on these frames. While those frames are drying, there's a couple of things that we need to do, and that would be to clean off all of these branches. And we'll just take and pull them off just like this. Of course, now you've got all these leaves that are gonna be left behind. Great for the compost pile. All right, let's get this place cleaned up. Take a look at these things. Look how beautiful they came out. They're so good, you wanna eat them. Well, no, I don't want you to really eat them because we need them for our project over here. So let's take these and place them on the table. Let's get our branch now, and this one really has some great character to it. Look how it just kind of fans out. It's pretty flat, it's gonna be easy to work with. The whole concept over here is that we want to give the impression that the branches are growing from this frame to this frame to this frame right here. Now what we wanna do is kind of position it a little bit, and once we position it, it's time to start cutting and gluing. Seems like we have everything glued down. Let's flip this thing over now. 
Oh my, look how this turned out. It's gorgeous. And it's doing exactly what we intended it to do. We start off as if it's growing from the tree and it's going a little bit further out from the tree and even further yet all the way to the tip tippity top top. Now, what we wanna do is this, see what it looks like on display. You have to admit, branching art is pretty snazzy. With that in mind, you could do some very eclectic things if you allow your imagination to run wild. Imagine this, using citrus branches over here, pine branches here, and ash branches up here. Again, it's all up to you and how you want it to look. And with that in mind, I see a tree over there calling my name so I can create some more branching art. <laughs>